Good morning, my friends. It's Tuesday, July 18th, and I'm here with you at the Rising of the Sun. I am actually at a board retreat for one of our affiliate nonprofits called Aging True. I'm staying in Palm Coast on um, at this resort sort of place, and it's very beautiful. You can see the ocean way out in the distance as the sun is rising this morning. Beautiful sunrise beginning. This morning we're given some very disturbing texts from 1 Samuel. A story of mental illness and even abuse. Saul has become fixated with David and wants to kill him. Jonathan, Saul's son, loves David and wants to protect David, tries to hide David and tries to convince his father not to be angry at David. Saul relents when begged by his son Jonathan. So David resumes playing music for Saul. But all of a sudden, one evening, out of nowhere, Saul is seized by the spirit, the scripture says, and he tries to impale David. He tries to throw a spear at David to pierce him through. But David evades the sword and runs away. Then David is staying at night with his Michael, his wife, Saul's daughter. Again, Saul sends for David with servants and Michael says to David, you've got to run from here. You will not survive this night if you don't leave. So she lets him down a balcony outside, just like this balcony I'm on. David runs away. And Michael hides the house gods in her bed with some goat's hair out of it to make it look like David's in the bed. And uh, I'm not sure what kind of an animal that is. And so the, the servants come and they discover the household gods in the bed. And Saul is angry and he comes to Michael and says, why did you let him go? And she said, he threatened me, he threatened to kill me. Of course, that's not true. So lots of lies, lots of deception, and a man who's getting scary and violent. And poor David is young and probably terrified and fleeing for his life. But he is loved and protected by those around him, by Jonathan and by Michael, and he does survive. People who struggle with Abuse have to run sometimes, run away from it. And it, you feel for poor Saul, who's become so deeply insecure and full of shame that his very reality is shaking. And he sees threats where they're not. He gets paranoid. He begins to live into that fear. And it tears apart his mind. Let us pray. Almighty God, there are so many people on this earth who struggle with mental illness. We ask you to bless them and help them to find wholeness, to find wellness. We ask you also to protect and bless those who suffer from abuse, physical abuse, mental abuse. Give them courage and strength to leave their setting of abuse, to find a way to be safe. We ask you to bless the sick today, Lord Christ, to bless those who are dying, those who are hungry, those who mourn, to bless and heal those who struggle with addiction. We ask you, Lord, to open our eyes to the beauty of this earth that you've given us, that we may ponder new ways to use its resources wisely, to live simply, 
so that others may live. We ask that you would bring peace, peace to the hearts and minds of humanity, peace to the streets of our cities and to the nations of the world. Grant us wisdom and peace, compassion and understanding that we may care for one another in safety and with the knowledge of your love. All this we pray in the name of Jesus, your son, who loved us and gave himself for us. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.